How's it going, Eliminators? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the importance of checking your spark arrestor if your two-stroke chainsaw or weed trimmer won't start. So let's get right into it. So I have a still weed trimmer here that one of my customers brought in. The model of this trimmer is an FS55R. And my customer brought it in because the carb was gummed up it had old fuel in it and it had been sitting for some time and did not run. Now I ended up doing a carb swap on it, new spark plug, put some fresh fuel in it as well as a brand new fuel filter and this thing does fire up and run. But for the purpose of this video, I went ahead and did something just for demonstration purposes to the spark arrestor to show you how a clogged up spark arrestor will prevent your weed trimmer or chainsaw from starting. So I'll go ahead and put the switch into the run position and with the switch still in the run position, I'm going to go ahead and choke the machine. We'll prime it a couple times just to show you that it fired there. But you're going to notice that it's starting and it's shutting off. It won't stay running. Now this trimmer does run. Like I said, I've done a full service on it and I will show you it running properly at the end of this video. But depending on how bad your spark arrestor is clogged up, your piece of equipment, whatever it may be, whether it's a weed trimmer or a chainsaw, it may start and shut off just like you heard here, or it may not start at all. So what we're gonna do is come to the back of the unit and then right in the middle of the screen is our exhaust here. And what we're gonna do is remove the muffler. And to remove that, we're going to be using a 15 millimeter deep socket. Once you get that loose, you can remove the muffler. And we can see here that I've used just some electrical tape to simulate a clogged spark arrestor. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and show you what a spark arrestor is. So removing the electrical tape there has exposed the spark arrestor. And you guys are gonna see that all it is is a screen. And if we look at it here, you can see daylight through it. So this spark arrestor is clean. And if one of these things gets real clogged up, what'll happen is it won't be able to exhaust any of that unburnt fuel. So as you're pulling the recoil on your equipment, you're putting air and fresh fuel into the cylinder, but it's not gonna be able to burn any of that off and none of it is gonna go out the exhaust. So I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is to clean one of these. One of the first things I like to do is take a pair of pliers and grab a hold of the end of your spark rester. And then with this running, we're gonna just clean it up on the wire wheel. That'll take the majority of the gunk off of the outside of this screen. Next thing, you're going to need a little butane or propane torch. You can use one of those little hand ones, but I find that the bigger ones work a little bit better. And then using the same pair of pliers here, you're gonna go ahead and put that spark arrestor screen into the flame. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna burn off all of that unburnt oil from that screen. You're gonna see a little bit of smoke, but what we're doing is cleaning that surface up and we're just burning off all of that unburnt oil and nasty residue on there. Now the spark arrestor is generally the first thing I check on any two stroke weed trimmer or chainsaw. And that's simply because it's so easy to check, make sure that the screen is clear and free of debris. And then you can go ahead and put it back in. Now, like I said on my customer's unit, it's already been fully serviced. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in and you're gonna see how it runs with a clean spark arrestor. So once again, we'll try to start it, but this time it'll have a clean, clear spark arrestor. <laughs> So there you have it guys. You see that with a clean spark arrestor, this trimmer fired right up, idled nice, ran perfectly, and my customer will be happy to get it back. And I wanted to do a video on one of these little clogged spark arresters, but every chainsaw and weed eater that I've been getting in didn't have a clogged one. So, you know, I just had to use a little bit of tape to simulate that and it worked perfectly. Well, just a quick little EP tech tip today on why you should check your spark arrestor if your two stroke weed trimmer or chainsaw doesn't start for something that's so quick to check. Basically, you know, it just rules that out as a possibility. And then after that, I go ahead and check spark, make sure it has spark, and then go ahead and spray some carb cleaner in it. And if they fire up and they run for a little bit and then shut off, then I know that the compression's good and I can go ahead and do a carb swap or a carb clean and rebuild. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. 
So be sure to stop on by next week, check channel up for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.